So when we're talking about a heat wave, what causes a heat wave? Well, first of all, a heat wave is defined as two or more days of abnormally hot weather. And typically, it's all thanks to an area of high pressure. Think high pressure lives in the upper levels of the atmosphere. High pressure, as it continues to grow and expand, it becomes a heat dome. So it basically blocks out the chance for rain, which that, of course, would cool us down. It creates calm winds that sinking air from an area of high pressure that can reduce your air quality and it can also cause dangerous heat. And of course, here across Southeast Texas, dangerous humidity. Both of those combined are what uh, can create a heat wave from that heat dome. So now let's focus in on an urban heat island. What happens is, is that the situation is even worse over highly populated cities. And that's because throughout the day, with clear skies and abundance of sunshine, thanks to that area of high pressure, you heat up from the sunshine, of course, throughout the day. Well, areas that have, let's say, more grass, trees, um, shrubs to help absorb some of that uh, heat instead of, let's say, concrete, because concrete heats up so much faster, and it also holds that heat longer. So the difference is in areas that have a lot more grass and trees, they're going to cool down at night. So this is called radiation cooling, and that's, of course, when the heat is able to escape the area. And thanks to areas that are a lot more grassy, that have higher tree densities, uh, those areas cool down faster overnight. Let's say in these highly populated series, uh, cities, Cities, that's where concrete traps the heat and it's not able to escape. So it holds the heat even longer. So in areas that experience this, we call it an urban heat island because of the population and because of the city size. But it is all thanks to an area of high pressure, which is that heat dome, which creates a heat wave.